App Services are Microsoft's fully managed platform with built in infrastructure maintenance, security patching, and scaling. It allows you to bring your application source code or container using the framework language of your choice. It has built in CI CD integration and zero downtime deployment. It also allows you to integrate with your master networks and ability to run in isolated and dedicated app service environment. App services offers you to deploy your web application code, mobile application backend, and the rest full APIs. With the help of app services, you should be able to increase developers' productivity with tight integration of Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio. This is about the .NET Core, but it's not only related to .NET. It also offers wide variety of development stack, such as .NET, .NET Core, Java, PHP, Node.js, and Python. So either of these language is supported in the app services you need to choose the appropriate app service plan for the language or the code of your choice for example if you are developing an application onto a python you can go ahead and choose the linux type of app service plan and if you are building a open source platform application in the open source platform such as dotnet core then you can switch between your app services between Windows and Linux platform. So depending upon the type of code you are developing, you have a freedom to choose the platform. App services also offers various deployment centers, such as you should be able to deploy the application code using Azure repository, local gate, FTP, even a zip file is also acceptable in terms of the deployment. You should be able to deploy with the open source providers such as Engate or Bitbucket, Dropbox, or even the OneDrive. So you have a full freedom to deploy your application code from your source controller or your source control repository to the app service. As I mentioned earlier, App Services offers a variety of different platform supports, such as Windows or a Linux. So, depending upon the the application code platform, you can choose the various platforms supported by App. As I mentioned, you have a freedom to switch the App Services, even though the App Services is created such as if i'm deploying the application code uh, from the dotnet code then yes i have an option to switch the app service platform from windows to linux or linux to windows vice versa next comes to the app service plan app service plan you can think like app service plan is a container wherein you are going to host your app services it could be treated as a web server for your application or your web app. A single app service plan can house multiple app services. Microsoft Azure app service plan offers different different stack wherein you can choose a variety from the different different stack such as I have a stack as in free tier or shared tier, and then I have a dedicated tier as well, which could be standard or the production stand tier. We'll look at this app service plan in some of our future video. App service plan also offers features such as an scalability, wherein you can scale up or scale out your application based on the need of your application performance. Now let's look at how do we create the app service on Azure portal. 
I went to Azure portal. I'll go ahead and create a new app series plan. If I search for app services, then I have option to select different type of app services. We'll go to the details in our future videos about the different app services. Let's for now create web app. Here I'm going to create a new resource group. Resource group is the logical grouping of resources. So you don't need to pay anything for that. It's just a kind of a folder structure or the container wherein you are grouping your resources. Resource group, I would say app service RG and then name of demo. Here I can select the different runtime stack. If I scroll down this drop down, you can see I have a variety of options such as in .NET Core with the different versions. Even I can select the different .NET Framework version as well. Java with the different version and you can see the Node.js supported version as well and Ruby as well. For now, if I, let's say, if I build the app services with .NET Core supported, then I have an option to switch between the operating system, as I mentioned. But let's say if I choose Python as my application, then it is only supported for Linux. I don't have any option to switch the Python to choose an operating system from Linux to Windows because Python is being supported only by the Linux operating system. So depending upon the application code you are targeting, you should be able to choose the application code. I can select the appropriate region which I am belong, which is closer to me so that it, it works faster. Here in this case, I'm going to choose and create a new app service plan. Let's say app service ASP. And this is what I was referring to. You can choose a different SKU size depending upon the need. For example, if you are working on a development or test, or for example, if for this particular demonstration, when I just need to show the demonstration for the app services. I can go for the free tier or the standard tier, which is for the low consumptions. If I choose a free tier, it just offers me a limited options, which is one GB of memory and 60 minutes per day of the compute services. Similarly, when you go to the production, you can go for the different different tier size and so depending upon the size of tier you choose you can see the list of services is getting getting increase or decrease so if let's say if, if i choose the s1 tier then i get the services and the features like ssl auto scale staging slots memory storage and the compute unit so it depends which services you train to choose and it's not hard and fast that you choose and then after you won't be able to resize it you can anytime go and resize your app services as and when you need and you don't need to pay anything additional for that for the amount of time you are choosing your service or you consume a specific type of service you need to pay for that and if you don't want to pay for the higher consumption then you can always go and switch back to the lower consumption without need to worry about the extra payment. That is called the pay as you go model. My app service is created. Now you can see I have the web application with this particular URL app services dash demo dash zero one and then dot azure website dot net, which is a reserve suffix URL for the app services. I can go to the configuration where I can provide or add any configuration which is specific to my application code. 
here is the authentication authorization services we will look at the authentication and authorization services in our future video and then if you want to capture a log of your application code you can always go ahead and collect the log with the help of built-in integration of application inside it also offers the custom domain feature wherein you can attach to a certificate attach a ssl certificate to your application to, and change the domain name of your choice basically as i mentioned app services is are offered with scaling capability which is scale up and scale out with the scale up feature you should be able to change this tier of your current application size from low to high or high to low based on your need that is called the virtual vertical scaling and in the scale out feature you should be able to scale out the number of instances of your applications at the moment i am not able to see the scale out feature the reason for that is i am running my application onto the fee tier and fee tier do not offer any scale out option so in order to get the scale out feature you need to upgrade your app service plan Here is my app series plan, which shows the number of apps I'm running into. We'll look at the app series plan in detail in some of the future video. For now, let's check out the different de deployment options. Like as I mentioned, the app services supports a variety of different options. And then you can have the option to support the deployment or the continuous integration right from the app services you can support directly from here i can go and select and configure my ci cd pipeline right from the app services itself if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and watch out for the next video available in the same series thanks for watching it